EAT is Teesside University's e-learning environment. To access EAT, open a web browser and go to eat.tees.ac.uk. The Welcome tab is the first page you'll see. You can log in here with your university ID and password. In the top right of the page, you'll see the Help tab. Clicking on this will take you to our help pages. These contain links to video tutorials, electronic help guides, frequently asked questions, school IT help desk information, out of hours information and more. It's a good place to start if you're having a problem with EAT. Once you've logged into EAT, you'll see the Home tab. This page is personal to you. It contains a list of modules you have access to. These are split between current modules, which show your modules for the current academic year, and previous modules, which show your modules for the previous years. You can click on the title of any of the modules to be taken to the modules page. You'll also see a list of My Organisations. These modules are separate from your academic modules and could include things like help for new students, careers information or school specific news. My Announcements shows you all of the announcements made by tutors on the modules you're enrolled on. Tutors can create announcements to tell you of many things. These could be room changes, a cancelled lecture or a new assignment. Your tutor can optionally send you the announcement notification by email. You can use the notifications dashboard to configure which notifications you see online and optionally choose to receive notifications for a wide range of events such as new content being uploaded, new assignments and new discussion board posts. For more information view the configuring notifications video. The other tabs at the top of the page contain important information. The Student tab has information about car parking, university news and discussion boards. The Local sub tab contains information on cinema listings and local events. There are also links to careers information, student services and the Students' Union. The Library tab has information about what's on in the library, links to search the library catalogue, a live help chat tool and more. Let's go back to the Home tab and take a look at a module. Click on a module title. The first thing you'll usually see is the Announcements page. This shows announcements just for the module you're looking at. Along the left side of the page is the course menu. This contains links to various tools and different areas of the module. Most modules will have a module guide, a reading list, a learning materials area, an assessment or assignments area, and my grades. The module guide contains important information about the module such as where to get help, tutor information, module information and regulations. The reading list links to the library website where you can reserve books online, find their location in the library and download electronic journal articles. Learning materials usually contains things like lecture notes, slides, images, audio, video and interactive content. You might be asked to write in a blog or a journal, use a wiki or listen to a podcast. This content can be organized into folders by topic, lecture or type, so have a look through all of the materials available to you. Assessments will contain any electronic assessments that your tutor has set for you. 
You might have to read and agree to a declaration before you can see any of these items, so read any instructions shown to you carefully. As well as being asked to submit files and documents electronically, you might also be asked to take part in assessment involving wikis, blogs or online discussion. On the menu, you might also see My Grades. You can use this tool to view grades and feedback left for you by your tutor. For more information, watch the Viewing Grades and Feedback video. Remember, if you get stuck, you can always click on the Help tab at the top of the page.